Hi, welcome to yet another video and in this video we'll be discussing courses in building, civil engineering and architecture. And to start with, civil engineering is concerned with design and construction of infrastructure such as roads, railways, airports, tunnels, dams, buildings, etc. The various subfields of uh, civil engineering are structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, water engineering and transportation engineering. Structural engineering is more concerned with the strength and the stability of various structures such as dams, tunnels, and bridges. Whereas, transportation engineering is concerned with the design and construction of various public transportation facilities such as highways, roads, airports, seaports, and pipelines. Whereas, geotechnical engineering deals with the stability of soil and log structure that will support these structures we are talking about. And water engineering deals with design and construction of various water storage facilities and water supply infrastructure. Various classifications may also exist depending on the country or the institution of higher learning, but I'm going to be concerned with various branches of civil engineering that are found in institutions of higher learning in Kenya. And we're also going to go through the website of various institutions of higher learning and we see what they offer. Now, architecture is more concerned with the artistic feel of the various infrastructures and an architect is more concerned with the appearance and functionality of the infrastructure rather than the strength and the stability of the structure. So, an architect will design an infrastructure or a building putting more emphasis on the appearance, the feel, the look and the functionality and he will hand over the work to a structural engineer who will make sure the work can be accomplished considering the strength, the stability, and the structural integrity of the structure. Basically, an architect and an architecture will always work together on the design. An architect being more concerned with the appearance and the functionality, whereas a structural engineer or a civil engineer being concerned with the strength and the stability. Now, for the building or the construction industry, we have a content surveyor and a construction manager. Basically, a content surveyor is more concerned with the cost of the project. He deals with things like the cost of the materials, the procurement, and the contracting. And a construction manager is a person now in charge of the actual construction itself. A construction manager is concerned with the planning, the safety, and ensuring that the project is completed in time. So, a content surveyor puts more emphasis on the cost of the project, whereas a construction manager puts more emphasis on ensuring that the project is completed in time and safely. In the building and construction industry, especially for the TVET institutes, we also have a course called Building Technology, that is Diploma in Building Technology and Certificate in Building Technology. And we are also going to go through the requirement of these courses in a later video. So depending on your performance in KCSE, you can choose to pursue a course in one of the subfields of civil engineering or you can choose to pursue a course in the building and construction sector. Again, if you're interested in courses in civil engineering and mechanical engineering, I've already done videos for that. You can watch them in the link shown here or in my video description here. And I'll create more videos for various careers. So if you know somebody who is in high school or a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school, ensure you share my videos to them because I believe the right time for making the decision on various career is light from high school so that you work hard in the relevant subject and therefore be able to pursue these courses successfully. Actually, the main reason I started this channel is because I saw a lot of wastage where people choose to pursue courses with very little information on. Now, without much further ado, let us go to the website of the various institutions of higher learning and we see which courses they offer. Basically, because we have many institutions, I will not be able to go through the website of all institutions, but I will simply sample a number of institutions. And the first website we are going to go through is the website for Nairobi University. And they offer a Bachelor of Science course in uh, Civil Engineering that will take you five years. Then, if you check the website for Kenyatta University, there are undergraduate programs in architecture, construction management, and there is also a Bachelor of Science in real estate. There is also a Bachelor of Science in civil engineering that will take you a total of five years. 
that has an entry requirement of a B plus in mathematics, B in chemistry, B in biology, and they also require geography and physics. So if you're interested in uh, civil engineering and you manage to get a cluster point that they require, you can pursue this course. Alternatively, you can pursue civil engineering in uh, TVET institutions. There is also a diploma in uh, civil engineering that is offered by Kenya National Examination Council. Now I move on to the website for Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and Technology. There is diploma in architecture and a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Architectural Studies. They offer also offer courses in landscaping and that could also be interesting to you because they are closely related to civil engineering. We are more interested in construction itself than civil engineering. In the Department of Construction Management, there are courses in uh, that is Bachelor of Construction Management. There is also Bachelor of Quantity Surveying and they also offer Bachelor of Real Estate. In the School of Civil Engineering, they offer a course in uh, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. So you can go to, you can also pursue a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering in uh, JQuart University. We move on to the next university, we see what they offer at uh, Civil Engineering or uh, Construction Sector. More University, and in More University, there is a Bachelor of uh, Engineering course. If you go to the various websites and check the various unit you do during the five years, there is no much difference between Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Science courses, which both take five years. Probably this course put more emphasis in uh, structural engineering because the other universities they are calling it Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, but for more university, it's Bachelor of uh, Engineering in Civil and Structural Engineering. Down here, you can check the, for the various uh, semesters that will be there from the first semester in year one to the last semester, that is fifth year, second semester, you can check the various units you'll be doing. Uh, for example, in the first year of study, these are the courses that will be offered. So it's possible for you, even before you join the course, you can know what you go through during your five year stay in the university, which I believe is very important. Personally, I believe in uh, doing prior research before engaging myself in any activity. And I believe if you are to pursue a five-year course, it will be worth taking your time to check the university website, what the course is all about before you even join the course or before you decide to apply for that course through COOPS. Now, the next university that I'm going to check is the uh, Macedemolino University and they offer a Bachelor of Science course in Civil Engineering. It's Bachelor of Science course in Civil Engineering that is accredited by EBK. I'm interested in uh, Civil Engineering courses because I had already done videos for Electrical and Mechanical Engineering. Uh, there's also a Bachelor of Technology Education course. Let me highlight it properly. There's a Bachelor of Technology Education course that is in Civil Engineering, Mechanical Engineering and Electrical Engineering. But because today we have said you are interested in Civil Engineering, if you are interested in pursuing a career as a lecturer in one of the Tibet institutions, that is the National Polytechnics, the Institute of Science and Technology and the Technical Training Institute or Technical Training Centers, that is TVCs, you can pursue a course in Bachelor of Education a technology and you major in civil engineering. Alternatively, if you're interested in mechanical, you can major in mechanical engineering or you can also major in electrical engineering. And you are saying these courses will add you a career as a lecturer or a trainer in one of the TVET institutions. If you have done a diploma in either mechanical engineering, electrical engineering or civil engineering, I think this and you're interested in furthering your education as a lecturer or a trainer in the TVET institutions, but uh, these universities, I think you can join the university in your second year of study. They also have a Bachelor of Technology in Building and Construction. Uh, I, in my previous videos, I tried to differentiate between Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Technology courses. Basically, 
Bachelor of Science courses usually take a total of five years, whereas a Bachelor of Technology courses they usually take a total of four years. And for the Bachelor of uh, Science courses, you are trained to be more of an engineer, not in terms of uh, design of the various structures. But for Bachelor of Technology, you are trained to be more of technician. So a Bachelor of Science student will be geared toward designing, whereas a Bachelor of uh, a technology student would be geared toward the actual maintenance work in the industry. And the entry requirement for the Bachelor of Science course is usually higher and you treat a total of five years, five. but for the Bachelor of Technology, the entry requirement, that is the KCSE grade, is usually lower and it will take you a total of five years. For the Bachelor of uh, Science course, you'll be registered as an engineer, but for the Bachelor of Technology course, you'll be registered as a technologist. Uh, we move on to the next university, which is the Dartmouth University of Technology. Here, there is Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. So they offer that, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. They also do offer Bachelor of Technology, just similar to Masinda Morillo University. They offer Bachelor of Technology Education, that is in Civil Engineering, that will lead you to a career as a trainer in one of the tech Tibet institutions. Actually, this is my first degree course. I did it in uh, Moy University. I did a Bachelor of Education in uh, Electrical Engineering, and then I later did a Bachelor of Science in uh, Electrical Engineering. So it's a good course if you're interested in with being a trainer in one of the Tibet institutions. I was checking the website for Egerton University. I, I found one uniqueness that is this course down here. Let, uh, let me highlight it so that you can see it. There is a Bachelor of Science in Water and uh, Environmental Engineering, which is I think is a unique course considering that I've not seen many other universities offering the course. If you want to pursue a course where we'll be dealing with more of water supply structures or water storage structures, that is the dam, the tunnels, the drainage systems, and uh, this is a good course for you. But there is also a diploma course in the same, that is diploma in water engineering. Uh, basically, water engineering courses in Kenya or water related courses in Kenya, they are offered by an institution called Kenya Water Institute. Next is Technical University of Kenya. Actually, Technical University of Kenya, I have seen they are offering quite a number of courses in the construction industry. That is Bachelor of Science in Quantity Surveying and Diploma in Technology in Quantity Surveying. In the Department of Building Science and Technology, there is Bachelor of Building Environment, which is also called Construction Management. So for TUC, they are course in Construction Management. They are also calling it Bachelor of the Built Environment. And then there are diploma course in uh, diploma in technology in construction management. Then there is also a certificate course in the same, uh, but it's called certificate in building construction and uh, construction technician. So this person will be more of the actual person doing the actual building itself. Basically, for diploma and uh, certificate courses, they usually more technical. The students have more technical know-how in the actual construction itself, whereas the uh, Bachelor of Science courses, they are more geared towards the, the actual management itself rather than uh, construction itself. And then the, for the same university, they also have uh, they also have a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering and the entry requirement for the same courses. And they also offer Bachelor of uh, Technology in Civil Engineering. So there's Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering and Bachelor of Technology in uh, Civil Engineering. And we have differentiated, one is a five-year course, and the other one is a four-year course. You can check here, as I was saying earlier, these Bachelor of Science course are usually have a higher entry requirement. You require a um, KCSE mean grade of C+, with the C+, in Math, Physics, and Chemistry, and it will take you a total of five years. But for a Bachelor of Technology course, the entry requirement or the entry grade for your KCSE is a little bit lower, whereby you require KCSE mean grade of C+, with C+, in Math, Physics, Chemistry, and English. And the course will take you a total of four years complete, or eight semesters complete. So basically, I've checked just a number of the investors, so you can check the other investor website. All I wanted is us to see the classification of the courses in the building and construction sector, civil engineering, and architecture. 
so that when you are deciding on which course to pursue, you can have a little bit, you can have some information about the course before you and back on the journey on doing the course. So that is for the universities. But now for the TVET issues, that is the National Polytechnic Institute of uh, Science and Technology, the Technical Training Institute and the uh, Vocational Training Centers. They also offer courses in similar areas. Uh, that is, uh, there is a um, diploma in quantity surveying, there's a diploma in building and construction, there's a diploma in civil engineering, there's also a diploma in water engineering, and there are corresponding certificate and ASAN courses. And because the courses in TVET issues have the similar curriculum, that is the same examining body, I'm going to pick the syllabus of a number of those courses in my later video. And we are going to compare between one course and the other so that you can decide on which one is the best for you. We meet in the next video, which will be comparing the diploma in civil engineering and diploma in building and construction. You can now meet in the next video. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video. I'd certainly not in the next one.